together. Did y'all see that? The home of the fucking pencil just broke off in my eyebrow. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm switching it up and bringing you guys a little get ready with me. I'm about to go on a dinner date with my girl. So I'm literally just throwing together something. Okay. Um, I just did this simple dinner makeup look. Um, something with like a little flawless skin feel. You can wear it like on a casual date or if you're doing like an actual date night. Um, it's been a minute since I've been in a makeup game. Okay, y'all. So I'm just showing y'all what I do on a daily basis. Stop chewing on them shoes. Y'all Y'all know how Yang is. He's chewing on my shoes. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a quick little get ready with me. So if you want to figure out how to do this look, just keep on watching. All right, y'all. So I've never done one of these. So I hope that the lighting is good. I hope I got everything together. And just bear with me, okay? Y'all know I don't really do my makeup like that no more. But we're going to try it. So the first thing that I do, um, the very first thing, which like, okay. First thing that I do is let's get these brows together. Um, as you guys can see, I have not done my brows or gotten my brows done in a very long time. Um, so I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury pencil. If you can see that. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, my mom, did, she didn't want to interrupt my video, so she was pushing my lashes underneath the door so that I could get them. We're going to go ahead and just brush them out. And then I wish I had like a, I have a mirror down here. So if you see me looking off to the side, that's what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to brush them out and up. And then I have hair everywhere, right? Because I haven't gotten them done. So it's not gonna be like a sleek brow. It's probably gonna be like more of a bushy, fluffy brow. But y'all can see how I clean these up. So once I brush that out, I take my, and this thing is a beat up. You could tell I really use this for real. Like look at, look at the freaking bubbles in it. Um, so this is, the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. It's just a clear brow gel. So I'm gonna brush that through. How I brushed it up. Pull that down on the tail. Just go across it at the top. And this stuff, when it dries, it sets, okay? Like your brows are not going nowhere. So yeah, just to kind of get it a little more uniform, you can see this side is already kind of set. So yeah, my brows are definitely sisters, not twins. Then once that's set, I go in with the pencil side and you can see it's so tiny, like look at that. I love how tiny this is. So it really gives like those hair-like strokes. And then just And then the pencil is very dark. Um, I have this one in the shade Natural Black. So it is gonna be a little dark. I don't mind that because I do a lot of brushing out of my brows. So it ends up blending together. Did y'all see that? The home of the fucking pencil just broke off in my eyebrow. <laughs> okay see and this is why everything everything i end up doing becomes more of a comedy than an actual tutorial this is this is exactly why i don't do these things but you know what i'm still gonna try right so we're gonna get some more of this like this it literally just broke off but that just goes to show y'all like this brow gel ain't no joke like my brows are so stiff 
that the pencil just couldn't take it. That and I do need a new pencil. So I just kind of fill them in to my liking. I like for them to look a little bit um, on the bushier side, a little bit darker when I know I'm gonna be putting on lashes and everything. And then I just brush it up, brush this over. And then just keep brushing, brushing until I feel like that color has blended in. And then obviously we'll go in and we'll clean it up. So now that that is done, they're filled in. I don't think I should make them any darker than they are. Um, and I wanna stop while I'm ahead, while I still got some eyebrow pencil left, just in case I need it later. We're gonna go ahead and go in with some concealer. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer. So I have this in the shade. I can never find the shades on here. Like, where did they put that at? I'm not gonna lie. Oh, see, look at that. In the shade Walnut. <laughs> That's so bad it is. What does that say? Four minutes? I wonder if it's telling me if it, I have four minutes until my camera starts overheating or if I have four minutes left on this SD card. Either way, not a good thing. So I'm gonna go in with this little concealer brush. And I'll literally just take some on the tip right here and then I just carve underneath it. And then sometimes I carve at the top, but most of the time I don't. Um, like I said, I like for it to look like fluffy and bushy, so we're gonna fluff that out at the top even more. And then we'll go in with a beauty blender and blend that out. And then I do have a wet, like a wet, wet beauty blender. So we'll go in underneath, blend that out. Blend it down onto your eyelid. So we can use that kind of like a base and we'll probably put some more there. And then I kind of blend mine up here because we're going to end up highlighting anyway. So I blend it out. And yeah, it's okay for that to not be completely blended. We'll go back in. All right, so now that I have that pretty much blended out for the most part, uh, we're going to go in with a fluffy blending brush from Morphe. I don't know which one this is, but it came in a brush set that I had. And then we're also going to go in with the Morphe Artistry Palette. I bring this palette with me everywhere because it has all the colors that you need. Um, so we're gonna go in with some transition shades and I actually use these on my entire lid. I mix this shade here and this shade here because we're just doing more of a neutral look and then I just mix both of those together. Ends up coming around looking like this. Sorry y'all, my SD card ran out of storage. <laughs> I'm just over here struggling, but it ends up looking like this. And then I just place that all over my eye. So I place it on the lid and then I just buff it out. Anytime I'm going out and I'm not doing like a specific makeup look, which oftentimes I don't anymore, you can't go wrong with this and it matches everything. So it just kind of ties it together. And then it just kind of gives you that illusion that you really did something with your eyeshadow when you really didn't. <laughs> so it's not really smoky. It's, it's literally just neutral colors. So I'll go in with that darker shade again because this one's a little more on the warmer side just to warm it up a little bit put that back on the lid to 
so you can see the difference between this eye just looks normal this one got a little more color to it So once that's done, so once that's done, so once that's done, I don't even do a lot of blending. I literally just let it be what it is because we just wanted a little bit of color, right? We don't want it to look like too much. Um, so now that that is done, that's all that I do for the eyes. That's it. I mean, I put on lashes, but um, I put my lashes on at the end because since I'm doing a lot of like contouring and stuff, I don't want anything to get in the way. So next we're going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So this is my favorite primer at the moment. I just do two pumps of that and then it's like a like a sticky like jelly type consistency. Uh, put that there. I make sure I'm really getting it in this area because we're putting more product here. And then I'm trying to move around the edges. Y'all know when you got curly hair, if you want to curl up. So I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade, I don't know how to say this. I think it's Wahan, Wahan? Let me see if y'all can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's H-U-A-H-I-N-E, so I don't know how to pronounce that. But then I just do a pump here, pump here, bring it down up here and then I'll add more as needed if needed and then I just take like I said a wet beauty blender that you get from anywhere I think this one is from Morphe it's not from the actual beauty blender brand and then just tapping it in you just want to think about it as if you're tapping it into that um, primer that you just place on. And then I just love the finish of this foundation. It just works so well with my skin type. Because I do have um, combination skin. So sometimes it can be really oily, especially if I'm touching my face a lot. But then I do have some times where it's just dry as fuck on the season and then around that eye area I'm kind of almost like how you would a wing just pressing it so that it has more of a harsh line right there and then y'all see how when you put the foundation on like your brows yeah they're dark but they don't look so like how they did earlier that's why I don't clean it up at the top because it just is what it is so that was actually enough for me. I don't feel like I needed so much more foundation. So I'm gonna take that same Infallible Full Wear Concealer and then just do a little bit of highlighting. So I just put a couple lines under my eye right here like that. And then this is a very thick concealer so you really don't need that much. Um, I take just a little bit Put a couple right there because I have like a long forehead so we we'll don't need to do too much um, put a little bit right here and then that's it that's all that I do I'm pretty sure you could contour your nose I still don't know how to contour my nose so I just leave it alone because especially with me having um, like a longer profile nose it's very easy to make it look longer when you're not trying to do that and I'm definitely not trying to do that. Like it's already, y'all can see. So I'm just beating that in, tapping that up and make sure you're bringing it up. You wanna highlight it, you wanna, wanna snatch it up. And then like I said, same thing with the, with the foundation, I'm kind of creating a line there. Just lifting my eye up. And I'm really out of practice, so I'm sure there's better ways to do this. So 
So I just did the same thing over here on this side. I be having to turn my camera off, y'all, because my camera be overheating. I'm sure you can see that the light is changing. The sun's kind of going down. And I just blended out the forehead area underneath here. This part is always a little bit harder to get for me for some reason. So then I take the same side that the foundation was on and kind of just dab that out. The thing that I really love about the primer though is that it's so sticky that when you're patting this in place, you can just feel it that it's sticking there and it's really staying. So once I've done that, I feel like, okay, I have everything on. My face is looking nice and bright. We're going to kind of tone it down with some bronzer. So I love the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. And I have this in the shade Chocolate. So I have a angled Morphe brush, just like a contour brush. And then I always just take my ring finger. Why my ring finger? I don't know. But I always take my ring finger and just here, here, a couple up here, and then do my jawline. So I'm gonna do this in a mirror because if I don't put this in the right spot, it's gonna look crazy. Right here, see, just like that. You don't need a lot. I need a little bit more. This there we go. Then I do here, right there. Yep, right there. And then I need a little more. Mm -hmm. And then for whatever reason, I do these two little dots and I blend those out. What that's doing, I don't know. I ain't even lie to y'all because y'all see how big my forehead is. I think I just like to give myself a little bit more dimension up there, a little bit more color. So you're literally just taking the brush and this just blends out so seamlessly. That's why I like the cream. Like, look how it's just blending out. And I'm barely putting any pressure, by the way. Like, it's just working itself into the skin. This, you do have to take your time. You can probably see my edges are puffing up because I'm doing that. But this, you literally just have to take your time. Everything else you can rush through. Y'all see I haven't taken much time with anything. This is the one part that you just have to let the product work itself into your skin. You're just buffing it out. Just bringing the color in. I kind of try to clench because I don't have a defined jaw at all. So I try to clench a little bit and then bring it under. It kind of create a shadow right there. Same thing for this side. Okay, the two dots, right? My little horns right there. I just buff those out. So I just let the brush do whatever. And sometimes it's hard for me to see if all of my bronzer is like completely blended out. So I'll just look at myself and I'll literally take the mirror and I'll just look at myself in different directions. Like over here is one lighting, right? Down here is gonna be a different. But I think that looks pretty good for me. Everything's coming together. So after that, what I do is I don't have a good setting powder right now. I'm using the NYX Mineral Professional Makeup Matte Finishing Powder. Oh, these nice be long. Um, so this is what it looks like. And then I'm actually just gonna take it. This part is always so messy. Take your powder, dip it in there like that. And then shake it off a little bit and literally just press it in. Right? So we're just gonna press it into those spots that we highlighted. But I like pressing it in with a beauty blender that's a little bit damp because I feel like it really sticks there. I mean, you guys can probably already see the part that I put a little bit more up here is sticking. We're gonna wipe it off so don't like worry about it, but that's what you want. You want your shit to be set. But yeah, I tap some up here too. Tap some around the nose. Any areas that you feel like you're gonna be sweating or 
you're, you might have a little bit of movement there. Put some around the mouth. And then sometimes I will go in just a little bit under where we contoured. So I am gonna take a second and put my lashes on off camera because I already know on camera this shit is not gonna work. All right guys, so we're all over the place. I got the lashes on, right? But I don't know what happened. By the way, these are not the Mykonos. These are the Rome lashes. They didn't have the Mykonos. Um, so I ended up getting the Rome and I just cannot put lashes on anymore. Like ever since I started getting my lash extensions, they do not look right on me so you see how this side is really fluffy and this side it looks like it got wet or something like there's clumps i don't know i don't have time to fix it and i'm not going to stress about it because the way that social media is set up nowadays all the filters got lashes on it so it's going to blend that in for me and you're not going to be able to tell in any pictures or anything like that i'm going to throw on my dress and then we'll have our completed look all right, y'all, so we made it through. I'm back on my camera. I'm trying to hurry up before it overheats and shuts down on me again. Um, but I have on this dress. I think you have seen this if you've watched my um, Houston blog. Um, and then I'm wearing these Ego white strappy shoes. So yeah, this is the look for tonight. I don't know what kind of purse I'm wearing. Um, the dress does have these little hand things i don't know what you would call them but they go on the hands like this super cute stop chewing on them shoes oh my god <laughs> y'all already know day in the life of a cat mom um but let me back y'all up so y'all can actually see the dress if you haven't seen it already so yeah it's just like this little abstract piece sorry i know the sun is glaring but yes this is what we're working with body is giving today um it's supposed to get a little cool tonight so it'll be nice to be able to wear long sleeves even though they're sheer um but thank you guys so much for watching i know this video was kind of a mess but i think i did pretty okay for my first get ready with me you know we pulled through had to switch to the phone had to switch back to the camera but we made it um so i'm actually gonna do a little bit of practicing especially on my lashes Oh, I can't wait to get my lash sent again. My lash tech is on maternity leave. Congratulations again, Tatiana. Love you, girl. But, oh, I cannot wait to get my lashes sent again. Um, so we won't have to deal with this part of it. But I think everything else came out pretty good. So if you guys would like to see more of these videos, just let me know. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Please comment down below. Let me know what you want to see because obviously I'm back at it again on my consistency. Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to be a vacay bay, And then share. Give me some exposure. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love ya.